Tim's Bill of Rights. 1. Neither speech, press, religion, nor assembly shall be infringed, nor shall such be forced upon any person by the government of the United States. 2. There shall be no standing military force during peacetime. This to include large bodies of federal law enforcers or coalitions of these officers that would constitute a min military force with the exception of sea-based maritime forces. 3. The executive office shall hold no power to unilaterally alter constitutional rights. 4. No person shall be subjected to any form of direct taxation or wage withholding by the federal government. 5. No person's life or liberty shall be taken without due process. Any government employee circumventing due process rights shall be punished with imprisonment. Citizens shall not be subjected to invasion of their homes or property by employees of federal government property or other assets of united states citizens shall not be subject to forfeiture to the federal government six personal activities that do not infringe upon the rights or property of another shall not be charged prosecuted or punished by the united states government any crime alleged will be prosecuted by the ju jurisdiction most local to the alleged crime respectively no person shall be twice tried for an offense alleged and adju adju adjudicated in another jurisdiction no person shall be subjected to cruel or unusual punishment nor shall shall the federal government hold power to execute any individual as punishment for a crime convicted or contract to another entity for this purpose no person shall be held to account for the actions of another unless proven by more than one witness to be the principal figure seven all currency sh currency shall be redeemable in a globally recognized material of intrinsic value such as silver eight legislative members shall earn no more than twice the current poverty level and shall not be subject to any additional pay bonuses rewards gifts entitlements or other such privileges as holding such office is meant to serve the people and should not be looked upon as a capital capitalist career opportunity nine where non-violent checks and balances fail to remedy government abuse or tyranny the common people reserve the right to rebellion inherent with this right the common people maintain the absolute right to own and possess those weapons which are used by any level of government for domestic pol policing 10 any rights not enumerated here belong inherently to the people or the state respectively and shall not be assumed by omission to be delegated to the ju jurisdiction of the federal government timothy mcveigh may 28 2001